so here is a very quick walkthrough of how I have organized um, the first grade curriculum. The teacher book is separate and I generally um, look through it before I do a lesson to figure out what I need to pull out and um, figure out whether or not I need to um, print part of that so that I have like a script or if I feel like I can just wing it. And um, generally I don't print it. Um, I can just look at like my tablet or whatnot. So anyways, here is this. I um, have broken the workbook apart. And here are my pencil pouches. Um, I got these at, uh, I think like a office store. They were about a dollar each. Um, so money's in one pouch. Then here are the pattern blocks. This is not the whole group of pattern blocks. It's about half of them, but the set I got was huge. So I only need about half. Here are our counters and then the magnet. These are magnetic counters. Um, so for quick cleanup um, and it makes it fun for the kids. Here are all of the save index cards, um, the shape cards, and then uh, these right here that I have cut out so far. This is like an extra one in case these get lost. Then I have laminated and hole punched some 10 frames. I have some rainbow ones, which I got off the group. Then I have a couple I made myself um, right here and here. Um, when I don't want them to use the colors to kind of help. Then here is a climb to the top blacklist master that um, was from the addition backs that stick. Here is our uh, part total mat. This is from another curriculum I was using before. And a second one because I have two kids. A um, place value chart, again, from another curriculum. Then the black line master. I do not have the 100 chart black line master printed out or laminated because I have an actual like Montessori hundreds board that we use instead. Then you can see just kind of the rest of them. When it comes to like the addition climb to the top on the back of that is subtraction. So I double put two pieces of paper in that lamination pouch and so on so forth with those. These are colorful ones in the back, again, from a different curriculum when we were doing Singapore before. Then here is the workbook in the back, and this little tab right here is showing me what where the next lesson is. And um, what I do before I teach is I pull out the sheet that we're going to use, and I put it in a lamination pouch that I got from Target. Um, I think you can also get these at the dollar store I've seen them and um, I'm sure on Amazon. And the reason I've broken mine apart and hole punched it is again, I have more than one kid. Further, um, one of my kids loves to do uh, the worksheets more than once. So just having them like this is nice because um, we can do them over and over again. And that is how I have organized the first grade curriculum. And it all fits in a, let me get it here. It's a little finicky as you can see, but it works. It all fits in a two inch binder and that then goes right onto my bookshelf and keeps everything in one spot.